I had a request to explain chapter 3, question number 10. So this question has to do with the subunit composition of a protein. You've got a protein and the molecular mass is 400 kilo, kilodaltons. And you do gel electrophoresis with this protein. But before you do that, you add SDS. And you get three bands. A band that's 180 kilodaltons, a band that's 160, and a band that is 60 kilodaltons. You take that same protein and you treat it with SDS and DTT or dithiothreatol. When we talked about this compound in class, it's a reducing agent. And when you run that sample out, you get a different pattern on the gel. You see a band at 160, a band at 90, and a band at 60 kilodaltons. So the question is, what is the subunit composition of the protein given this data? So let's think about our two different conditions. SDS is a compound that we talked about in class. It denatures proteins by disrupting weak interactions. So I talked about that SDS would destroy tertiary structure of a protein by denaturing it. It would also disrupt any weak interactions that hold subunits together. So it looks like this protein is broken up into three subunits according to the data in this part of your experiment. But if you take that same protein sample and in, in addition to adding SDS you add DTT you get a different result. DTT is a reducing agent. What does that mean? It means disulfide bonds between cysteine residues get disrupted because the sulfurs are reduced and those disulfide bonds break. So if two subunits were held together by a disulfide bond they would no longer be held together because of the DTT. So let's analyze our gel by looking at what's the same between our two conditions. We see the 160 band is present in both conditions and the 60 band is present in both conditions. So what's different is that a 180 band disappears and a 90 band appears when you've added DTT to the mix. So this is telling us that there's two 90 kilodalton subunits held together by disulfide bonds. Because when you use DTT, this 180 gets broken up into two 90 kilodalton pieces. And because they travel together, you just see it as a single band. You can't tell that there's more than one subunit because they're the exact same size and so they'll run together on the gel. And this is why typically in the lab you actually use a reducing agent as well as SDS when you do SDS page.